Guys, right before this video, I was just talking about how much I love the Twilight Saga. And I know everything about, I know the entirety of the lore behind Twilight. Yes, yes, I am, I am a fangirl of Twilight. If you guys really want to support this channel, I suggest head over to our Patreon page, check out our weekly awards. I don't do monthly awards. Heck no, I offer you guys weekly awards. Well, hello my friends and welcome back to... What the heck was that? <laughs> welcome back to our Ruby reactions and welcome back to uh, All Ages of Geek TV. I said that opposite. But yeah, All Ages of Geek TV is all about fandom positivity and, you know, going every single fandom, talking about the lore, discussing characters, kind of making characters look they're actually real. Hi. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> If you're wondering where you get this pillow, you can find the link in the description down below. But guys, oh, we, oh, <laughs> we are, we left, left off, we last left off with our beans and our, our babies, our children. We last left off with them questioning their whole existence. Just like I'm questioning my existence and why I had my Lavier mic just clipped on like that. Whoa, but yeah, um, <laughs> uh, they were questioning why they even became like huntresses. And when you start like, let's say you like you love something, all right, let's say your own career. And then somebody asks you why. I always say this, my friends, the most powerful thing in the world is asking someone the question, why? And why is that? Well, there's a few reasons. I've said this a multitude of times, but I'm going to recap your minds with this. The reason that you ask why is to get to a question. Like, why did the chicken cross the road? Did the, the egg come before the chicken? But why? Why are you asking me that question? And then if that's, I'm going to give you another example like this. All right. Why is the sky blue? I don't know. Maybe that's just how God made it that way well why and then maybe it's because god likes the color blue i don't know like this is the thing like the question why really makes it also makes you learn about people too i mean sometimes somebody might not actually like a series and suddenly somebody asks them why puts them on the spot and then they're like oh i actually didn't even see that series just like i've never seen star wars before <sighs> true story I still need to watch Star Wars. So a uh, fun thing that could be coming up on Twitch is we do a lot of like, we're gonna do a lot of watchathons and things like that. Uh, watching Star Wars, that would be a lot of fun, wouldn't it? Like uh, me finally getting into the fandom after how many years of my existence on this planet, despite the fact that this is one of the most geek culture type of thing, and I've never even gotten into it. I'm a failure at life. <laughs> But yeah, my girls, they are literally questioning themselves. They're questioning why, but that's very important because that, my friends, starts character, what? Character development. And that is what I can't wait to see in the series that is Ruby. Right, girl? That's right. By the way, guys, before we start the show, I would like to make a few announcements. As you saw before, there was a little Patreon type of ad running because, you know, yeah, on our Patreon, there's going to be a lot of fun things, such as uh, we're going to start re restart our um, our podcast that we have, which is the Rambling Squad podcast. That's also going to be live, so it's more interactive. I can like answer questions. I can like go back with theories and whatnot um, for Ruby in general. Uh, that's going to be live once per week. Another thing is Food Wars. We're going to be watching Food Wars live every single week once the new setup is here. Because I had to reset up things because HDMI cords. As you see, this thing is literally all the way 20 feet long. That's right, he's all the way all by my desk. And I was like, yo, you're my best friend now. That literally got so many of these because biggest issue I have is I film on different sections of this of this room and um, it's, it can't reach certain heights. So even if I want to do like a live stream like around here, which is would be totally cool for our watchathons, because you know, I don't want to sit in my chair and hurt my butt all day. <laughs> Um, we're gonna be doing a lot of watchathons on Twitch, so not Ruby though. Ruby's gonna be like edited. I I think because I want to try to like you guys want to like have this type of setup, but also have the video on, so like this way you won't have to worry about the video not being there, and it won't just be me like standing there like stagnant like oh great. So on Twitch you can expect 
mainly all of our other show is to be live. Ruby will be like this, like general setup. Um, we're also gonna have a lot of other like anime watchathons on Twitch, but on Patreon, there's gonna be a lot of live type of content just for patrons. Just like on on Twitch, there's gonna be some exclusive content just for Twitch subs. So a lot of things will be happening on Twitch. So be sure, like I'm gonna be doing Monday through Fridays, sometimes surprise surprise streams on the on the weekend. Yes, my mom came up with that name, <laughs> surprise streams. Yay, mommy! <laughs> But yo, know, um, definitely a lot of things that like helping us out with Patreon and like Twitch. Like I really want to like at this moment, I just want to be able to thank you guys. Like right now, at this like I. <sighs> okay, so I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart because being on this journey and not even just like getting like respected within this fandom, but all the other fandoms that we're a part of. It, it means so much to me that I could do this as my career. Yes, YouTube is my career. My past job was working with children's books and working with a lot of publishers and agents and production. And I worked in the publishing biz for five years and that was very stressful. Like I, my life became, my, my job became me. You know, like you start becoming your job and you start acting like a completely different person. I was, a completely different person because I let my job become me. So my advice for you today is never let your job become you. Never let it like take over your life. So even with YouTube, YouTube started to take over my life. I felt like it was the only thing I had. But like recently when I started doing live streams on Twitch, I felt free. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but I felt like a burden was lifted from my shoulders and everything on YouTube while yes it is still my career and everything like YouTube and Twitch and Patreon all that is my career and I just want to I just want to thank you guys for making this possible because like this is this is the dream you know to be able to create a place where people could be like feel freely to express themselves but also spread that fandom positivity and geek out about things and just be 100% yourself this has always been the dream and I could finally do this and I could finally say that I am confident enough to literally go out there and tell people this is my job. And it's because of you guys. It's not just because of me and my hard work. It's not It's not just because of like everyone on this team's hard work. No, it's also because you guys are the ones that make it possible. You make this dream possible. <laughs> I don't want to cry. <laughs> you make this possible for everybody on this team, but you also make it possible for my vision to really just be on the plate, you know? Like if you're like, let's say to talk about food or be a chef, weird and an 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 I can't even say that. <laughs> weird way to, weird way to say it, but it's like when a chef makes food and they give it to the person that eats the food. And then that person's like, I really like this. That's kind of like what this is. It's like, you guys love what I do, and you guys help me make this vision true, and it's because you believe in me, and you, you fund this channel, and yeah, things are so screwed up on YouTube nowadays, and it's not even funny, and I've made a few videos about that, but I'm never gonna quit because I love making videos. I love entertainment. I love entertaining you guys and spreading positivity, so like, God bless you. Bless you all who have contributed and funded this channel because, again, without you, this would not be possible. Oh, oh no. my, my whole goal for 2019 is not to get, not to cry as much. Okay, so back on the positivity train here. Um, another thing we're doing on Twitch is I play with all of our subs. Like anyone who subs on Twitch, I will play games with you and it's a lot of fun. Like I did not know I was gonna enjoy it that much as playing with random people and playing with subs and I'm like, it is so much fun because you guys know what you're doing and me as a complete and utter noob who has no idea what she's doing sometimes when it comes to playing games, you guys help it out. But is the Ruby game question, there, I know there's a few Ruby games, are they multiplayer? Cause how fun would that be? That's, that's something we're also gonna be streaming too, the Ruby games, but God bless you guys, just thank you, but those are my announcements for today. Another thing is just check the description. If there's anything new, it will be there, but let's move on to chapter 11. I can't believe we're just breezing through this. We're almost to volume three, which a lot of you guys say, you ain't ready for that. Even our editor, Derek, says, you ain't ready. And he caught up. He, he already watched like a majority of Ruby, so he won't get spoiled while doing these edits. But with me, 
because you know I'm, I'm still in volume two. I don't know why you guys keep saying I'm not ready. All right, and the flabbering. Oh, girl, she better be okay. Oh my wow. God, I just my throat. Are much more manageable without that oversized gardening tool. Torture, go away. Oh, oh, oh. He's tripped her. Yeah, yeah. Do you think this is funny? You know, Perry, I really did need this. <laughs> he, he really did need this, really, dude. But I do like him. But seriously, how'd you find this place? Ray? I love his voice too. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Boy, you you don't stand a chance. You just said, Ruby, dodge. <gasps> really? 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 Let me make this clear. She's what, like fifteen? Not through here yet. You don't know what you got to stand Harry, a chance. If you and the boys can take care of that. Kind of in the middle of something. Huh. The guy, the guy, with random glasses. I just random glasses. <laughs> Look at his glasses. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> you know what's going on. Oh my god! Oh my god! The like, dudes run away! Run away! Yes! <laughs> Team Ruby! Yes, they went in. Yeah. He's rightly shooting. Girl, girl, girl. Yes, yes, queen. Attach this car and spread the word. Yes. We're starting the train, but we're not finished. Dude! Do it, or you're finished. Really? It's not a way to treat people. Keep going, keep going. Oh my god! Dodge! Dodge! Oh my god! Yep. Who, who did it? Who did it? Who did it? Yes! Like, all loaded up on the train cars. Ah, uh, it's ridiculous. These tunnels are sealed. The tracks lead to a dead end. <laughs> Get to your places. We are leaving now. Really, dude? Get on the train. Get on the train. Get them. Get them. Get on the train. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so hype. <laughs> Dudes, go. Jump on the train. Come on. Let's Come on. Let's get away. Let's go. Of course, there's no signal. Of course. I believe we only have one option. What? You gotta jump on the train, ain't you? Yes. Stopping that train. Heck yeah! Oh! Oh, I love that transition. There was a. Like... <laughs> He's like, what? I think they're on the hook. Hey! <laughs> they made it on the train. Oh my god! Then grab some cargo and get them off the train. <laughs> just, just throw it at them. <laughs> Every one of them. Hey. Not you, though. You're, uh, you're great. <laughs> oh, man. All right, children. We must get to the front and stop this train. Yes. Uh, Come on, girls. Don't, don't, just don't let go. Uh, What's that? <laughs> Are you freaking serious? That, my dear. That's Bob. Appears to be a Bob. Yeah. Oh, they're like, oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Girls, step away from the Bob. Oh, man. Oh, man. Get like uncharted vibes right now. Like we fight well, people I on the train. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Easy on us. Oh, you got this. Time to go. Like to that like a boost. It'll kill us all. <laughs> Jeez, is he? Get, is, does he know how to detonate it? Huh? He's doctor after all. What? What the heck? It did couple itself. Uh, what? I guess he really doesn't want us on this train. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh. That's <laughs> Another bomb? Go, 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 go. Yes, oh, boy. No. Are you kidding me? They all have they, they all have they all of them. Are you serious? Are you freaking sick? Go, go, jump, 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 jump. Yeah, Blake. Oh my god. Well, she's a cat, sense. so. You gotta get up there where it probably doesn't have bombs. Ooh, ooh! Ooh, I like her. I love I love that design. Oh yes. Oh Zwy is why is also fine. Oh yes! <laughs> Just do the wing. She slapped him in the face! Yes, queen! My queen! Yes, best girl, let's do this! Oh! 
We'll be just having the time of our life. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Boom. Shaboom. Poor guys. Sorry, dudes. He's <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, God. I'm getting, now I'm getting Last of Us vibes. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is so cool. He's a big snake, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Go. Oh, my God. They're going to climb. They're going to climb. I want to climb. We have to hurry. Yeah, please. Don't, don't show fear. Don't, don't show fear. Us. What about us? We're going to stop this train. Heck yeah, boy. Yeah, I know. I said that earlier. <laughs> oh, this timing. Oh, I love this. Oh, my look. How many do you have? How many do you have? This is so cool that they're they're fighting in like while on a train. But how does the train hold their weight? Yes. Pop ahead. Imagine if they didn't jump though. Ooh, ooh. We've got a problem. This is why it's like I'm just gonna take him. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Yes, boy. What the What the heck? What the heck you fight? He's a good doggo. Oh my god. Look at him wag his tail. <gasps> boy, boy, do you put your guns at him? Yeah. Yes. <gasps> my god, he's so cool. Alright, what we got? I guess this is what we trained for. Girls, be Here. careful, please. This should help you. Heck yeah. Just be okay, please. Oh, 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 yeah, okay. Oh, I love you. I love that design. You two go on ahead. This one's mine. Ooh. Are they all gonna get their own? Yeah, here goes Yang. Here goes Yang. Yes, I'm with your fight. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Ooh. Um, look at the height difference. Yang, careful! <gasps> Look at that design, yo! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. <gasps> Dang! Go past the punch. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look how tiny she is, though, compared to her. Yes! Ooh, ooh, yang, 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 careful, yang, yang! Oh my god! Queen! What the heck? Ooh. They're all gonna get separated into one, aren't they? Ooh. You go on ahead. Got it. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh god, oh. Yes, best girl. Yes! Oh, she's looking back to make sure she's okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Finally, I get to kill a schnee. Uh, 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 of Hello, course. Cat. You miss me? <laughs> oh, that's you know, so cool. You really gotta stop meeting like this. People are gonna talk. Really, dude? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ooh! Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah! Go, 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 Oh! Look at that! Queen! Ooh. He always gets his butt kicked. <laughs> uh -huh. Ooh. Ooh. He's down, he's down. <coughs> Why are we fighting? I saw you at the rally. We're on the same side, and you know it. What? Really? Oh God, is he? Do not convince her. Get it? Do not convince her. Oh my God, dude! Dude, do not, do not wave that around, best girl. You don't wave that around, best girl. No one just waves it around unless it's gold plated. You know, unless it is 100% gold plated. She only deserves the best. Oh, oh, oh! 
Jeez. Girl. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So graceful, even when she fights. Ooh, ooh. Oh. oh my god. Oh, oh no, so cool. Oh, no, don't you dare. Don't you dare touch her face like that. Are you freaking serious right now? Oh, the monster sliced her. No, she's just walking up like. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, her heels. Oh my god. Ooh. That was hurt. That was hurt. The umbrella could take it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh my Throw her! Yang doesn't seem throwable, but she's been thrown throughout like since the food fight. Oh. Ah, still feisty. <laughs> so, what are we gonna do now? Do you really think a little bow on top is gonna make people forget what you were? Really? What you've done. She hasn't done anything, dude. <laughs> what? What? No! So, what's it gonna be, Blake? Oh, yes! Kick him in the face! <laughs> Legit kicks him! <gasps> really? Weiss! Oh my god, oh my god, Weiss! Oh my god, she's kicked out! No! <gasps> Don't you dare! What the heck? Oh, oh, oh! Who are you? Who are you? Oh my god! Look how cool you look! Oh my lord! Okay, she's on our side, I think. She's 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 on our side. Who are you? Oh, this is a big reveal. Oh, oh, she's scared. Oh. She intimidates. Oh. Wait, who are you? Wait, 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 don't tell, is that like, is that her mom? Wait, is it, cause, wait, cause remember the story, remember the story, remember the story. <gasps> cause remember her story, remember the story. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, I'm not so, oh my God, I'm not, that was the, oh my God, I'm gonna cry. It's super like Christine, oh my God, it's super like looking after her. Oh my God. Oh, oh. <laughs> Kaboom! Kaboom! Oh, oh my god, it's right there! It is little, right, when things just walk behind you, that just freaks me out. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> he just goes in. Oh, it's wide. What's wrong, BB? Oh, oh! Good boy. He's a good boy. I love how he fights, though. Weiss, oh, thank. Bless the Lord. Best girl is okay. Ooh. Oh! Yes, boys! Is, is, is Doc okay? Is Doc okay? Is Y okay? They were protected? What, 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 what? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that noise, that's creepy. Oh god, what's going on? Oh no. Oh my god! Oh my god! <gasps> Are you freaking serious? Oh my god, I'm freaked out right now. Are you serious? This is not good. 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 Oh, that gave me chills. Oh, I'm gonna cry. That was so perfectly directed. That moment, that, that just, that freaked me out. That freaked me out, man.
those people, those innocent people, they didn't see anything. Like they probably were just having the time of their lives. They were probably just maybe going to work, going through their, throughout their normal day, and then. Oh my god. And oh, if they're blamed for that. What if Team Ruby is blamed for that? Ooh, that freaked me out, man. Like I again, Charles is right here. Charles is my grim, if you guys don't know, he's my OC. Like, he would never do that, but, like, those Grim? And they're gonna- if they sense fear and those people are, like, out of nowhere, if you see those things running after you, those poor innocent people. If Team Ruby is blamed for that, they better not be. They just better not be. And Doc and this is why I better be okay. Because I didn't see them there, but... Ruby's face. Like, they were passed out, and then- Ooh, that was- that was perfect. That gave me chills. That got me freaked out. That was that was that was probably the most freaky moment within Ruby so far. I can honestly admit that. Like like usually I'm like hyped up and like screaming about things, but that just that got me hoo hoo. Oh, that gave me chills. Okay, so a for a few things that I could point out. Um, the, the fighting on the train reminded me of a few things when you're playing Uncharted, the game Uncharted, um, when Nathan Drake is on the train and you're fighting. Um, another thing, the Grim at that one moment when they were breaking through the, um, the train and everything, when they're breaking through and, he, um, Ublek, Dr. Ublek was like, oh my god, like, you know, this is where they're coming from. They were also reminding me of, like, certain scenes from The Last of Us, so... Oh my god. Oh my god. If they're if the if the Grim get any as freaky as like the clickers or the bloaters, even though I love them, then I'm gonna get like psh I'm out of here. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so that gave me chills. That got me freaked out! <gasps> I didn't think I was ever gonna get freaked out with Ruby. Is there any no I don't think there's any yeah, there's no uh after the scenes, but oh man. Oh, I'm freaked out. Cat is freaked out here. Cat is freaked out. All right, so let's discuss. I love this episode. The action was high. Everything was there. Everything that you could have asked for, and like, like even if you think about like a action sequence within a movie, it's there. They're fighting on a freaking train, guys. All right, they are fighting on a train. But even that, the parts of the train are exploding. But who is that woman? If that is okay, so. If we're talking design, she looks like Ruby. I'm not joking here. Like that design with the dress, with the black hair, with even like the movements, I got Ruby feels. So is that, is that Ruby's mother? <laughs> or I don't know, I'm, again, I'm speculating. I'm not sure, but how, why I'm thinking this is because I've studied books for many years, all right? One of the biggest thing with me, one of the biggest flaw not my flaws, but one of the, it's a blessing and a curse, is usually with me, because I've read many books, I've, I've worked with books for years, I can usually guess the coming of events very easily. Like, I could be like, okay, this is the lore, let's talk about the lore, but let's see why. Let's ask the why question again. That's, again, one, a blessing and curse for me. But I could usually see what is coming because I'm like, plot points. I guess plot points all the time. I end up spoiling myself because of how my brain works. So I'm gonna guess, I'm speculating here, theorizing here. If we're gonna go back a few chapters when Yang was telling the story, now, they didn't mention anything else about that, okay? The, you gotta qu question why throughout, from the beginning of volume two, I always say season, the beginning of volume two, that the whole thing was revealed about with Yang and the mother and then their Uncle Crow. Like, they, that whole thing was revealed but was not mentioned at all anymore until this moment. Now, Yang's thing was, like, she always wanted to see who this woman was. She wanted to see, you know, like, she wanted to, like, get that type of connection. But another thing is, too, like, she's, she, here she is, young Yang taking young Ruby in a little wagon and trying to, to find this woman. And what would have been wonderful, if this is, if this is how the series is going, maybe the woman didn't want them to see her because maybe she's watching over them. And if that's so, I'm gonna cry my freaking eyes out. Going to cry my eyes out because in a way she never left. She was always there. She is always residing with them. She's always watching over them. And when Yang was about to die, here she comes, here this woman comes. And I, again, I could be completely wrong. This could be, I, I, I'm speculating here. But how I'm seeing this, if we're gonna refer back to those chapters prior to this, why was that mentioned, you know? 
Why was that whole scene even mentioned in volume two if they weren't going to reference it again? That's foreshadowing. You know, that could be foreshadowing for other volumes, but that's usually how books and, and like anime and just talk about books in general, how it works is like something is mentioned in a few chapters earlier, so then it could foreshadow and then be revealed at a huge moment later on towards maybe the end of the series, midway, the climax of the series. Like that's, that is when, that's how I'm, this is why I'm speculating this because maybe she's watching over them. You know, maybe she is never not seen them grow up. And that, if that is so, and that is why I'm going to cry my eyes out. But oh my God. Oh my God, I thought Weiss was gonna die. I thought Best Girl was gonna get cut in half. I was screaming, as you saw. If that ever happens again to Weiss or any, cause again, I, I love all of them, like equally, but there's something about Weiss. And you guys always say that she is the best, like, like written character on the series. But I, this is the thing with me. I love characters who go from, go from point A to point Z. And how she is like, I always, for some reason too, I always love like the very like, how they seem very snobby at first, but then they are like, oh, like I'm the best, I'm the best, this and the that. Like if, again, speaking with how I am personally, um, because I'm an aspiring voice actress myself, if I were going to voice anyone, it would probably be those girls. Like the girls that are just like snooty and like just, that's not my personality at all, but I, for some reason, love those characters because they can ask the question, why? You ask them, why, why are you acting snooty? Why are you acting like that? So to see Weiss, how she is, how they even fight together, it's so wonderful because this character development, but if that happens to end, like Yang was about to be gutted. Like, she, like don't do that. But when Ruby's like, I gotta call Jean, it's like, <laughs> it's like no service, Bean can't activate right now. Oh, imagine. He'd probably be like, what the fudge? What the fudgicles? Oh my God, Ruby, oh my God. Like he'd probably freak out, but oh. Yeah, I think this is the last chat. Yeah, I think this is volume two, chapter 12, Breach. I think that's the last chapter of volume two. Hopefully it ends well for these for these people. That just, that ending freaked me out. But whew. anyway, guys, for our, uh, the podcast that's going to be going on, that's going to be for live streams. Like that's our, uh, the, the rambling squ the squad. Ra I can't always say it wrong. The rambling squad podcast is now going to be live for patrons. And we're going to discuss Ruby more in depth and everything and like go over the series again. So what I really want to do is make it more interactive and long and like review the series again, like go back into like maybe chapter one of volume two and discuss each of the scenes. So that gives me another reason to rewatch it, but also gives me a, a reason to rewatch it live with you guys on Patreon, where it's more of like, it's not like watching the whole series, but it's more like discussing it, going to certain points and like hearing what you guys want me to discuss throughout that. Cause I, I'm all about interactivity. That's what this, what All Ages of Geek is all about. It's not just community, it's all about interactivity. But again, guys, be sure to check out all the links in the description down below. Be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to give this a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. If they want to see a Ruby fangirl freak out and almost pee her pants. <laughs> but anyway, guys, you stay weird, you stay wonderful, you stay awesome, my friends. And until the next video, embrace your inner fangirl and your fanboy. Do my hand things every single day. Bye guys! <laughs>